and we're rolling. Yep. I'm uh, JJ Blair. I'm a professional uh, recording engineer and producer. Uh, I've been doing it for a little over 20 years, and I am here to talk about the uh, BAE 1073 and 1084 modules. We're running a bass drum through the 1084 right now. It sounds a little boxy. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is that's usually going to live anywhere between 700 and we have the 1.8K there. So we're going to kick in the EQ and we're going to start pulling that back. Hear that? We just got rid of that annoying boxy sound. We kind of like it a little more with the 700 pulled out. And the thing that I love about these that makes me really happy so I'm going to go to dial in some 110, and I'm just going to push that. And we're going to give it a lot of that. And it's just going to give it all this meat and a bunch of chest thump. And then the 12K is the fixed frequency on the 1073, and usually a perfect frequency for that. Just put a little bit of that right on the top of the kick. Just put some snap on it, put some punch on it. Bang, there you go. You got a nice punchy kick drum. You don't need a sample or anything. And it's perfect if you add your outside mic to it. Blends really nicely, but it just you know gives you that really nice smack and solid meat to it. And that's pretty much what these things are amazing for. Based on my experience over using the uh, modules in the console at the Old Sound City, uh, that was where I sort of got tuned into using the 1084, where they had many of those for the toms. So you can hear there's a little bit of a oh sound in the middle of the tom. We're doing a rack tom right now. This is a 13. And my good friend David Goodstein hitting it for me. And so we're going to pull some of that mid out again. Make it a little less boxy, a little more musical sounding. I think we like that. 1.8 pulled out a little bit and we're going to give it a little bit of low end into at the uh, 220 frequency and uh, but we don't want all that bottom underneath it we want to bring some of the pillowiness out of it so we're going to bring in a high pass filter at about 70 hertz that sounds good maybe give a little bit of 10k on the top just give it a little attack take a little bit of that low end out that's a nice sounding tom now that's going to sit really well in the mix you know one of the reasons that so many records from the 60s and 70s sound so great is they had consoles full of 1073 modules and they only had maybe one or two mics on a drum kit frequently um, and they're just so incredibly musical. Right now I have a single mic, I have a U47 overhead on a drum kit. And uh, we got the gain in a reasonable place. We have Lola helping out. And uh, we're just gonna play with the EQ and get to bring out parts of the kit we wanna bring out. And this is a situation, this type of thing, we might want a little 1.8K because that's where the snare is going to be. You know, and that's where, that's where that excitement and that, and that crack is in the snare. So we just have a single overhead U47, give it a little bit of thump. There you go, without EQ. Here it is with EQ. More exciting. Sounds like a record. <laughs>